Hello everybody and how are you doing this fine afternoon? This is Alec Guy coming to you and we have a, another opening here. Uh, today we're going to be opening 2016 World Championship deck. Uh, this one is going to be the Magical Symphony deck as piloted by Shintaro Ito, the Masters Champion, I believe. We also have another one, the Shinto Hero one. We're going to be opening this uh, probably another day, maybe tomorrow. Um, and uh, uh, of course I will be broadcasting that. So, first of all, World Championship decks. Uh, everybody pretty much knows about these things, I think. And then you have, uh, uh, of course, the World Championship in San Francisco. And uh, they are have a special card back, so you can't be using it in tournaments. Again, for those of you watching my videos and my kind of my my journey and path into Pokemon, doesn't matter to me at all. Doesn't matter to me at all because um, I'm not playing in any tournaments, nothing like that. I just play with friends and um, kind of mess around and get an idea about how uh, decks in Pokemon are built. All right, so I'm brand new to the game of fledgling about this all, so I'm just trying to learn about the momentum and the progression and how exactly you can. Um, Play this game. It's an awesome game. So, I'm opening this thing up. I thought this is a good place to learn is by buying some of these things and seeing what others are are doing. And uh, that way I can get a better idea and kind of um, try to learn from them. Almost like a self taught thing. So, we have a book in here. Um, this is going to give you all, you know, a lot of information about. Uh, the different countries and the masters and who did what and some pictures and random stuff and and I'll learn all about this stuff in a little, a little while from now but uh, it's pretty cool kind of shows you gives you a nice little rundown about how that tournament went and um, I find it really interesting I find it really interesting that they release these decks this is brilliant this is an absolute genius idea done by Pokemon some others might know that I come from the world of magic not competitive or anything like that, but just for fun and playing in stores and doing the Friday Night Magic and all that. And um, this is awesome because it gives people an idea about how to, of course, again, to build decks and everything. And um, they specify the special back so it's not allowed to be used in tournaments and all that. Um, and all their EXs are non-foil. So if you can see that, that's just pretty like a regular card. Um, some will describe these things as being, um, you know, professional proxies. And that's okay with me because uh, in the leagues I play and everything, we have players there who are playing with uh, photocopies of cards. And so they're just black and white. So this is a great way to expose me to actual decks. And it works for me. So hopefully it works for others as well. And this is going to give you a good idea about some of the different things that are available to you if you are like me and learning. So uh, cool pin, San Francisco 2016. A little Pikachu there. Uh, a really nice little pin. Um... Yeah, so we have two different little packs in here of cards, of course, that they always include these little plastics, but we're going to be going through what we have here. So, in the deck box itself, nice little random box, we have uh, the card for online. Hopefully, I can play this online. We have Cobalion, Absol, Adina Spirits. Mega Turbo, uh, Pokemon Center Lady, Starling Megaphone. I've never even seen this card before. Discard all Pokemon tool cards attached to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Okay, so you're stripping them of the ability to stick anything on there. Super Rob. We go into the Mega Audino. I guess this is the um, the kind of the the uh, the premier card. This is the card that he used uh, in his play. Ultra Balls, Ultra Balls versus Seeker. These Seekers is a great. Uh, discard pile into your hand. Zero sick. Yeah. So a lot of these things you'll see also that they have a little uh, scribings here. Maybe it's his name or something. It's written in Japanese. Trainer's mail. And now we have the actual little plastic pack. <clears throat> Hexmaniac more uh, supporters. Sycamore. Parallel City, cool. I've never played with one of these before. Little stadium cards. Uh, facing one way, facing the other. And Lysander. 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 I'm not sure how you say it. Floatstones eliminates uh, retreat costs and all that. AZ pulls back all the cards off the, off the uh, bench area. Then we get into the 
kind of meat and potatoes. You can just kind of see that there's actually, it's almost like a uh, faded to the edge there. It's definitely not as clean. They're off cut. And uh, we spoke before, these are not foiled in any way. So, Majerna uh, Shamans are here. The powerful, powerful Shamans. Now, uh, another thing about these decks is that they're a great deal, actually. So, um, I ended up buying uh, a couple of these for like 12, 13 bucks a piece, and that's fully shipped. Um, but the Shamans alone are selling on eBay for about 10 bucks a piece. Um, so, that's pretty cool. But again, weird backs. They, I think they do look different because they're silver bordered, and you can tell they're actually just kind of uh, not printed nearly as nice. So, but still, again, pro proxies, we'll say. Uh, there's a for the Arduino, um, colorless drain slap and do the wave. This attack does ten more damage for each of your benched Pokemon. So all you want to have is just have as many benched Pokemon as possible, right? That's kind of what the idea is here. Uh, scope rope. It looks a little different to me, but maybe it's not. Uh, then we have the diff different energies, double colorless energies, and we have all these steel. One, two, three, four, five, six steel energies and four double colorless. I like the, let me see, I didn't notice that at all. What am I playing with here? Arduinos, Hoopa. Why is Hoopa here? The place by going from your hand to your bench, you may search your deck for up to three Pokemon. Oh, okay, so you're using it for the ability to go and pull Arduinos out. So really, I don't see that many Pokemon here, really. I mean, you're talking about uh, the Adinos, the Shamans for support. A lot, of, a lot of supporter cards there. And you have Absol. Sorry, am I getting these things screwed up here? Yeah, there you go. Absol, Trainers, Trainers and Energy here. And uh, it's not that many... Pokemon, really? One, two, three. I don't know. No. Just, uh, yeah, it looks like a pretty fun deck. I'm going to be um, having some fun playing this with some friends and seeing what it's about. And that's kind of what we're doing. Uh, I went and bought the uh, Caldeo Rayquaza deck. You guys probably saw that. Now I'm buying these World Championship decks. Again, I'm not so comfortable in, in building my own, but you have seen me uh, uh, trying to show off a little bit of the Gengar deck that I have. I know it's out of standard, but it doesn't matter again. And um, you probably saw me open a box of the fake stuff. Um, again, that's exposed me to cards. So we had me ex being exposed to cards. We have me being exposed to kind of how to build decks. And I really want to progress into actually building my own decks and having some fun um, with this awesome card game. So... Hopefully you appreciated this um, this uh, box opening. I'm going to be sleeving these things up regardless. Even though they're not foiled, I still like to keep my cards kind of in nicer shape. And I don't want to put it on a on just a um, a table with no mat or anything. So, um, hey, if you have a chance, please like and subscribe. Like, like and subscribe. I'll be opening the uh, Shunto Sada Hero deck likely tomorrow. Um, to see what he piloted. I know it's called the Black Dragon. Um, kind of uh, appeals to me that he's using Dragon and um, Dark. Um, kind of where I'm coming from. So anyways, thank you so much. Take care, everybody. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.